So second down, three yards to go now. Carry now for Gurley. And he'll be brought down at the 21, just shy of the 20 in the red zone. And five yards on the play there as the drive will continue. And Gurley having a big day, and they're winning. That's a big reason why, you know, 2012, his freshman year at Georgia, first game he was a backup. He came off the bench, 100 yards rushing, two touchdowns, 100-yard kick return. He started every game in his career, set. And he should have because he is one of the most dynamic forces to enter the NFL, the running back position, in many years. And I think he's only going to keep getting better. Like always, there you go, like always, not picking a play. Now you don't want to pick a defensive play. And then you're gonna have the boss to say that I'm killing the clock. Fuck out of here. And I could, because it's the end of the quarter. Fucking bump. Dona! And he'll get it up the middle. And he takes it down to the 10 yard line. It's a 10 yard gain there, and it sets him up now, first and goal. Really good, skillful, tough running throughout this contest. Picked up first down after first down. He's got to have a nickname, doesn't he? How about the human first down machine? I think that fits. And the offense lining up first and ten. First and goal, Gurley. And running room hard to come by here. He gets it down to the eight. He'll get two out of that run, and it's going to bring up a second and goal. Defensively, pretty good start there with their backs against the wall. That's a win for the stop troops right there. And if I'm them, I get a little bolder now. They won the first battle. Keep coming after them. Put the pressure on them. Pick your play already, Donna. Stop running. Pick a play. Donna, pick a play. I don't want to hear no crying. Fucking bum. Second and goal. They still need eight yards to find the end zone. Call it no gain that time, and now it's third and goal. Partner, I know we're in a goal-to-go situation, but my goodness, think about running the ball here. Not even a thought, is yeah, it? Defensively, they're in a prime spot. And I think the defensive guys are probably expressing themselves to them as well. I wouldn't run it here, guys. You might want to try throwing it. All right, now, lucky 56. Lucky 56. No, 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 no. An extra defensive back on the field here for third and goal. Here's Gurley. And he's going to take this one in for a Rams touchdown. And that rushing touchdown, his fourth, puts him just one shy of the NFL record in a single game. And we all know he would love to get to that record and even beyond it, but he doesn't need to in order to impress in this one, does he? What a, what a performance. What an absolute great game that he's had here in this one. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Now the Jets offense, they get ready to head back onto the field. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. And they see no sense trying to press here. They take the knee and going to get this one into the locker room. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. First half in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Okay, Larry, a fairly one-sided first half as we get set to go in the second half. And how about this right out of the locker room? An onside kick attempt. And the hand 
Titans team for the Rams able to secure the football. A very interesting call and one that backfires. I know they're losing Charles the boy to start the second half with the onside kick risky. You heard that right, Bum? You heard that? You see how I didn't have it at first and I audible that they called it the hands team? You heard it, right? You see that? Once I audible the hands team, you saw it? He said it himself, fucking Bum. together with that sense of urgency you talked about. The third quarter starts with a run by Gurley. And down inside the 35, he goes to the 32-yard line. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave him with a second and two. Offense in a good spot here, second and two. I know the toss play begins right, with the guy this taking the snap and turning around and tossing it to the runner. But where the real intrigue is, can they seal the edge? Whether it's an offensive tackle or a tight end in the direction they want to run the football. If they do that, that's the result that you get, that type of a game. If they don't, oftentimes it's not a very successful play. They get five out of that one and it moves the chains. But we always talk about good down and distance allowing offenses to expand their playbook. Well, second and two, that means your playbook's wide open. You can run just about anything. But a lot of times, the play caller, he just looks down at his sheet, sees the short yard and runs, and goes to one of those. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. You know how we get focused at end of the half and end of the game situations about how much time's on the board and, you know, what you need to do? Sometimes you don't even have to worry about that. That's just smart football. You know, that kind of a lead, staying in bounds, it burns clock, even in a situation that we're not really focused on it. It'll only be a gain of a yard, and it sets up a third down at four now. In order to play really good run defense when you're playing a 3-4, those three guys up front, the nose tackle and the guys they call the defensive ends, they're usually big, big people because they're going to have to eat up a lot of blockers because it's usually five on three. And when they do their job well, guys who play on the inside, those inside linebackers, they're able to just roam and hit. The one running back is Gurley. Play clock winding down. Now they'll run it on the toss. But he will have the first down before he's tackled at the 12. Now here's a timeout defensively. Defensive timeout called by the Jets. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. Back to the workhorse today. It's Gurley. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Let's give a lot of credit to the offensive line. They've been able to move the ball really well on the ground the entire game, and while that wasn't a huge one, that's okay. They'll take them in short, steady bursts. Back in the end, Philly, here we go! Hurry up, here we go! Green, 39! Here comes a 20th carry for Gurley. And they go. Now the Jets are going to burn another timeout. And that's going to leave them with just one timeout remaining still in the third quarter. We'll see if that comes back to haunt them. We'll be back. Hurry up, here we go. 319. On third down, they'll run it with Gurley. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown Rams. And he just tied the NFL record on that fifth rushing touchdown. He's the sixth man ever to do that in a single game. And partner, did you just say that he tied an NFL record there? Yes, sir. I mean, what's up? Five touchdowns on the ground against an NFL caliber defense. Is that good? I'd say that's fantastic. <laughs> what a game for him. It really is something. We are watching quite the effort. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. They trail offense, first time to touch the ball in quarter three, and we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait to see what they have planned because some teams script to start a half. 
Other teams just go, okay, these are the sequence of plays we want to run. These things worked well for us. And sometimes they throw in that big chunk play right away. <laughs> Shocker. Try and get after them early and try and create a big play to give themselves some momentum. See what they have up their sleeve. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. So the incompletion there, but looking at the pass game across the board in the NFL, Charles, week two of the preseason, they experimented with a second back judge, eight officials. What did you think? Yeah, I like what you pointed out there. Game two, all games, the experiment happened. The extra official, the eighth guy, he will affect the passing game, but he'll also affect the running game because he'll watch inside to see for illegal blocks and holding. Just think about it this way, though. If they're trying it out here in the preseason, look for it to become a permanent minute deal in the NFL starting in 2017. Fitzpatrick to throw it. He finds Tompkins complete. And he gets it to the 32. Good enough for a first down. One thing I can say pretty safely, that route is not called if you don't have a guy who can throw the ball and put some mustard on it. Because if you're going to lollipop it in the middle of the field, bad things usually happen. It takes a strong arm guy who can rifle it in there. And they were able to successfully complete that one. They'll come out in the pistol. On first down, this is Forte. And he will lose yardage back to the 34-yard line. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. When you're putting together a formula for winning defense, it's exactly what we're seeing in this game. Controlling the line of scrimmage, attacking, and changing everything so that now they're playing in the offense's backfield. They're playing an excellent game. And he drops it incomplete. And their struggles continue here. We know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes where people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away. But the bottom line is, that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. Incomplete pass on second down. Let's see what the offense draws up here on third. From the gun, Fitzpatrick. And able to find Decker. And he gets this one all the way down inside the 15. A nice gain of 21 yards. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. So, boy, that's already the third they burn here. They are out of timeouts now before we've even hit the fourth quarter. fucking bum yeah you better kick the field goal on first down you fucking bum i own you take the munchkin bum ah, <laughs> and i'm breaking records on you and you're gonna quit like a little bitch because i'm running 300 yards on you almost already with Todd Gurley, so you're gonna quit bum i know is good and they'll get back three but this remains a large deficit well, I guess we're at the stage here where they wouldn't say no to any points, but I don't think field goals are what they're looking for here in the second half. I don't either, Brandon. When you're down as much as they are, that's the sign of a head coach waving the white flag to me. And the decision to bring it out is going to cost him about seven yards, all told, as he's taken down back shy of the 20. So now here are the Rams as their offense comes back out, and they will simply, Charles, be looking to duplicate what they did last drive when they were able to push it in for six. And they hope it'll be that easy, right? To be able to take exactly what happened before, replicate it. They have to make a few additional changes along the way because I'm sure the defense will make some adjustments, but they've got to have great confidence having scored the last time out. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. And once again, leverage wins. The offensive line, lower than the defensive front. They moved him and found some good space for the guy carrying the ball. They run. It's Gurley. And he'll be taken down after a minimal pickup, and that will take us to the end of quarter number three. And this defense looks for one more stop here on third after the run. Goff turns and gives to Gurley. And he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35.